We create our grace. Earlier I was exploring how the law of attraction has a booby trap. It tends to reflect back to you what it is you are experiencing in the present moment. So if you are in pain, the law of attraction gives you more pain as you are a vibratory match to pain. The key phrase here is vibratory match. So the way to break the law, quote, quote, is to consciously change your vibratory rate to match, say, compassion or caring or joy or relief. I've had the privilege lately of being an in-home caregiver for a sweet 93-year-old man. He is mostly chair-bound and his most strenuous activities are walking to the bathroom, doing his personal hygiene, and then hobbling back to his chair. This activity is painful to him, and now and then he is in a great deal of pain, enough to cause him to cry out. I believe that because I have been dealing with some physical pain myself, I ended up being a vibratory match for this in-home care gig. But there was a whole other factor at play here. Mainly that the job of caregiving is an act of compassion for me and has pulled me out of engaging so much in my own pain. In caring for this man, I found myself experiencing moments of joy and relief. And by observing this joy and relief, I could expand those feelings and bring a higher level of peace and joy into my life. The key takeaway here is that we all have the ability to change the way we feel, regardless of the outside causes of negative feelings. Even while in high levels of pain, I've been able to find a niche of feeling relief and then focus on that. Lo and behold, pain levels diminish, and it makes it even more possible to feel relief, joy, compassion, and ease. In this way, the negative feelings and emotions we have directly point to the other side of those feelings, the positive ones, that we have only to use our innate ability to access and experience. We tend to want to suffer using such justifications as, why me, or this shouldn't be happening, when in fact we are ignorantly ignoring the fact that we have the ability to change our feelings. When in fact we are ignorantly ignoring the fact that we have the ability to change our feelings regardless of exterior causes. By allowing ourselves to be with the negative feelings, it creates the space to originate feelings on the other positive end of the spectrum. I believe this is what is meant by grace, and it is one of the greatest gifts of the human experience. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX, www.pureenergyrx.com.